Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to a new video where we will beautify our terminal. Before we continue on, if you like my content and you want to see more, there's a red button down below which says subscribe. So if you want to see more, just click on it and otherwise enjoy the video. Most of you guys know that Mac runs on Linux and when working with a Laravel project, you need to use your command line at lock. Even if I rewind and think about what we've done so far in our terminal, we basically installed well, PHP, MySQL, Composer, and Homebrew. We created a file and a folder inside our terminal, but well, if you look at our terminal, it does not look good. And don't look at my beautiful colors that I have right here. Well, I had your terminal, the basic white one with a dark background. Before this video, I actually installed some plugins, but I just don't know how to get rid of them. The problem you probably have is that you cannot see any difference between a confirm message or a deny message because everything is printed out in white. Now, what we could do is basically style our team, fonts, and so on. So that's something I want to do in this video. I actually found a very nice repository on GitHub that we could use. So let's go to Google. Well, that went wrong. Let's search for Kevin Smith's GitHub. And the version that we need is the iTerm2 Solarized. So what I want to do is to download the complete new terminal, which is way more efficient. So what we want is, well, this is the default, but what we want is to turn our terminal into, well, the power level 10K. So we want more colors that have a specific meaning. We want the branches to be shown. We want the time to be shown and everything else. And don't worry for now, I understand that most of you guys are new or just haven't heard of some of these terms. It's all right, I've been there. And honestly, I need to learn so much too. During this course and your programming career, you will learn it and you will get used to it. First off, let's scroll down. So how to install? We need iTerm2. And this is basically a replacement for Terminal and the successor to its first version of iTerm. We could go to the website of iTerm, so let's Google it, iTerm, iTerm2.com. We could click on the download button, but nope, we have Homebrew right now. So let's copy this command. Let's hop to our terminal again. Let's clear it. And let's actually get out of our first project. Let's go to our desktop, CD. All right, let's paste our command in here. And you can see that something is happening on the screen and that's her installation while it's downloading. And a fun thing is that it's pretty much the same as the terminal that we have, but it has a little bit more advanced features, such as a split plane view, hotkey, mouse less copy, instant replay, paste history, and well, a couple more. All right then, my installation has been done. Let's go back to the browser. And well, what we need is all oh my ZSH but we need homebrew installed. And by now I expect you to have that, but I'm just mentioning it because every once in a while I ask students to download something which they will not do. And later on they'll come and ask why it doesn't work. Once again, you need homebrew to be installed. So what we need to do is install it with curl. So let's copy it, let's hop to the terminal, paste it right there, hit enter. And well, I have it already installed. But what I can do is to actually remove it. So let's cd to go back to my user's diary. Let's say rmrf.o my zsh. So it has been deleted. So let's cd into the desktop. Wow, that went wrong. cd into the desktop again. And well, let's paste it one more time. And it's cloning our zsh. Well, terminal would like to have access. Let's say, okay, all right. And something new has happened on our screen. You can see that our terminal went from the name of our directory to, well, desktop git. And I think this looks way cleaner. So let's move on to the next steps. What do we need to do now? When the installation is done, edit the zshrc and set the theme to something different. But before we do that, Let's quickly install power level 10K because the Agnoster default team that you see right here looks more like the first picture over here. And I want the power level 10K. So let's scroll down again. Let's copy the Git clone of power level 10K. Let's go to terminal. 
paste it right here, hit enter, and you can see that a clone is going on right now. All right then guys, now in order to change our terminal, we basically need to copy the ZSHRC. So let's copy this piece of text. Let's go to our terminal and let's get out of our desktop by writing CD dot dot. In our root directory, let's open, or well, nano, what we just copied. We just opened a hidden file because the punctuation mark is right in front of the name, which stands for hidden. What we need is, well, let's have a look. We need the ZSH team to be changed. So let's remove it to power level 10K forward slash power level 10K. Let's hit control X. Do you want to save it? Yes, so why? And the file needs to be the same, file name, excuse me. All right, what we did right now was nanoing and doing it inside the terminal. You could also say open that specific file. And what will happen then is that it will open inside a text editor. But I think that this is just way too much work. I just rather work with my up and down button. And you can basically change it over here. All right then, let's close off a terminal. Let's terminate it. And let's actually quit it. That needs to be done if you want to see your changes. But what I want to do right now is to open iTerm. Let's click on it. Well, it's an application downloaded from the internet. So let's open it. Allow notifications. And well, this is our new terminal. So what is it asking? Install Meslo Nerd font. Well, let's say yes. Let's install a new font. Why not? And it's basically asking if we want to restart our terminal. So the way we do that is to go to the iTerm2 name and let's say quit iTerm. Let's say OK. Let's open it one more time. Let's say these are all the installation things that we need to do. Does this look like a diamond rotated square? Well, yes. So why? Does this look like a lock? Well, yes. So let's say yes. These are icons, yes. All right then, this is pretty important for you to know. How do you want your terminal to look? Well, I like the rainbow, so let's say tree. The character set, how would you like to have it? I like the Unicode, so let's set one. Show current time, which version do you like? And this is all whatever you like. Don't do what I'm doing right now because these are my preferences, but do whatever you want to do. So I live in the Netherlands, I need a 24 hour format. So let's hit two. So the prompt separator, let's say number one, I like the angled. Prompt tails, well, this is a pretty uh, weird one. Let's say flat. Prompt highlight, one line or two lines? Well, I like the one line. Prompt spacing, well, let's actually add spacing. Icons. Um, well, I like many icons instead of few because I don't like to read. That may sound very weird, but I like to look at icons and know what I need to do. So let's say two, the prompt flow. So I don't want it took five seconds. So let's say one and enable transient prompt. Well, let's say, yeah, let's say yes. So why? All right then, install prompt mode. Let's say one, yes. I already have the file, so I need to overwrite the current one. So let's say Y again. Apply changes, let's say yes. And it's fetching right now. So our installation process has been done. As you can see, our terminal looks very good. So let's say LS. And all right then, this looks good. But before we continue on, let's close it off. So let's, well, let's quit it. And let's open it one more time, just to be sure what the output is. This is what we need. What you could do is to install fonts and you can install your icons and everything else. Well, we basically have done that right now because we're running power level 10K. If you're using 9K, you need to manually install these three files. Let's see what we could do. Let's open our terminal. Let's go to iTerm. Let's click on preferences. Let's click on profile. 
And right here, we could basically click on text and we can change our font. So let's say that I want the Maslow bold. Oh, my font size have just changed to bold. It's somewhat I like. So I'll go back to the basic one. You need to change your terminal to whatever you like. Not what I like, but what you like. The output will always be the same. You could also change your colors because sometimes the colors might be harsh. You could change your theme color. So let's say color preset and let's say smooth. Well, it's not what I like. <laughs> we can say dark, which is more black. But what I like is solarized dark, what we just had. There's one more thing that I would like to show you, and that's how you could use someone else's color scheme. Because, well, honestly, it's a pain in the ass to change the colors yourself. So what I want to do is to, well, let's close off our preferences. Inside a new tab, let's search for iTerm2 Material Team. And it's a GitHub repository created by Martin Seeler, who was kind enough to design color schemes based on Google's Material Design Color Palette. And on top of that, he gives us instruction on how to use it. So let's scroll down. And yes, right here, how we could use it. It basically says clone the repo or download the file. Well, let's just download the file by clicking on it. And well, this does not look a downloadable file, but what we could do is command S to save it and save it somewhere where you won't delete it or you won't lose it. So what we need to do is to get rid of the TXT save it but well that's this is a mech thing because it still adds the txt so what we could do is to open finder let's go to well the location where we saved our material design let's rename it and let's get rid of the txt all right use iterm colors all right let's close it um, we don't need this so let's go back we we'll basically need to go to Preferences, Profile, Color Tabs to change it. So let's open our iTerm, iTerm, Preferences, Profiles, Colors, on Color Preset, say Import. And right here, we could click on Material Design Colors, iTerm Colors, open it. Well, I already have it, so add duplicates, add it anyway. And basically, we could choose, well, material design colors. And that will then import material design colors to our color scheme. And this was it for this video, where we made our terminal look way better. And this is something you will appreciate once you go on with the course, because we will be using the terminal a lot.